Ahoy there! Yahaha! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to ye, wherever the fluff ye are. And welcome to a review of Five Nights at Freddy's The Movie! Forgive me for the cheesy intro, but I've just got back home. Yeah, you might be able to hear my computer having a moan and whine at me at the moment for some weird reason it likes to ramp up. Uh, I did record one version of this whilst I was coming out of the uh, screening room. And the sound all muffed up, so I'm having to do it again. <laughs> it's all fun though. Um, I'm going to try and keep this as spoiler free as possible. But um, basically, yeah, it's worth it. It is worth it. It is good. Kind of like, I'm going to try and see if I can keep it to as much of, um, keep not giving as much away as basically what you get in the, in the trailers. But yeah, it is mad, it is spoopy, it is jumpy, um, it is fun. And there is plenty of cupcake. And um, a little bit of Balloon Boy in there too as well, just to throw that one in there. There is a few um, faces and voices doing cameos somewhere. I ain't saying who, but um, I mean, come on. I think some of you out there will know who will be in there. But... Basically, the beginning of the film just gives you a bit of like a, a fast track of, you know, like what you know from the game and book lore. Uh, the, 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 the kitty bobs going missing um, one by one and all of that. And then it then zooms into Mike and his life. Things don't quite go well for Mike. Um, obviously, some of the stuff that, might, that you might have seen. He runs after someone... Um, ends up like you know getting in trouble for basically punching them um, well beating them up and then ends up getting obviously fired from that job then goes to um, go see Matthew Lillard's character I've totally forgotten the name of the character off the top of my head but um, yeah good choice of getting uh, Lillard in to do that because yeah he hasn't lost his chops you don't see him that often in, in there, but he is there, um, obviously. <laughs> but yes, uh, all, of, all of the stuff. So he's given the proposition to go look at Freddy's, um, but he just turns it down for a little while. And then after being given a little bit of news somewhere, or given basically a G up, he then takes the job and then goes does that. He then meets everyone, obviously through that, and all the other insanity happens, all the mishmash. There's other, the, the cop, Vanessa, which obviously some of you might know a different way, um, comes in, shows him around, basically gives him a little bit more of the stuff about all of the missing children and everything. Then, further down the line, all the little bits and pieces happen. Um, something happens. Yeah, obviously, Mike does have... A sister in this one um, she does play some somewhat of a role obviously as some things in the trailers you would know um, there is a lot of other stuff going on there is like insinuations to dreams and changing of the past and all sorts of other bits and pieces uh, the, you do meet the embodiment of the missing children or basically their spirit form again I'm not giving anything away here this is Again, all in the trailers, but they do play more of a thing to do with possibly his sister. Go through all sorts of other things. Yes, there is obviously, you know, the um, spring lock suits and stuff like that. And then the, the alluding to the, the yellow rabbit and, you know, the, the, the rabbit man did the bad and everything like that all comes to a head you need to, to do something Vanessa comes in at the basically at, comes in clutch saves them just as Vanessa's there the true evil shows himself and Vanessa is left in the hospital she's in a coma at the end it is left very open-ended. and We do know that, obviously, Matthew Lillard did say that he'd signed on for three movies. So it is open-ended. The spirits are not gone. 
But now comes the evil. I've given one or two little clues and little snippets in there. I haven't done all that much, but um, my boy Foxy doesn't talk. He just sings a dum 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 dum, and there is a few like gamey bits and things like that in there, and there is a few nods to the past and things like that. There's a lot of it's very well blended of the game lore and the book lore and a few other things in there. It is very well blended. Um, personally, I give it a 9 out of 10, because, well, come on. I've had quite a few nice interactions with the um, movie staff as well, you know, with the, the cinema staff, because a few of them were like, I don't, we, we, we didn't think that um, you lot that, you know, you lot on the Freddy's crew were allowed to come out. And it's like, well, no, I'm sending an NDA. I am allowed to come out as long as I keep the secrets. So, yeah, I'm keeping the secrets. Those of you who are in America, you will have, to, unfortunately, you will have to wait until Friday to watch it. Or those of you who are lucky enough to get a few other things, um, you know, like, I think it, I think there's, there is, I think it's released the day before or 12 hours before on Peacock or something like that. Or it might just be the same day on Peacock, I'm not quite sure. But um, it's very rare that we get it early in England. Um, we got this one early. But it is good. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of theories um, thrown up about this because there is a few little things that do um, have differences. Obviously, Cupcake. <laughs> cupcake is a sentient. So Cupcake now will probably have his own extra lore and all sorts of other stuff. And there's a lot of other stuff. It's very wild. If you are into your, like, your spoopy stuff and all your funny stuff and things like that, and it's good it is definitely a 15 because there is quite a lot of horror in there is there is a lot of jumps even the ones i knew were going to be in there were, were, were quite jumpy there's a few moments that will that will get you when you're not quite suspecting it and there's a few moments where you think there's going to be a jump but there isn't um then there's like face reveals and voices that come into the background and other such things so yeah it is brilliant. I know some of you might rate it kind of like a, a seven and a half or an eight or maybe even a seven. But I rate I rate it a nine out of ten go watch. So I am gonna sign out with this one. So I you better be good, yar. You better be ready. Cause as long as you like pizza, you're on the good side of good old Foxy. Ha ha ha. Anyway, peace out and goodbye.